stupid already. Trying to sleep. Try it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, if he has another problem, let staff know he's. I thought he was still on my phone. I really did. Well, if he has another problem, don't take it up with him. Don't confront the kid because he's a psycho. <coughs> he's so stupid. I'm just, uh, why, why is that? All right, so last night a schizophrenic lost his patience out of the blue, possibly with one of the voices in his head, went over to a guy's bunk while he was sitting on it and took his, his phone and his headphones and, and yelled at him said he was tired of it all or something. Then the schizophrenic walked, stormed out of the, put on his jacket, stormed out of the building. Then the, uh, like, supervisor guys, they said that the schizophrenic is welcome back and everybody should just try to be as nice as possible to him. <laughs> and, but he never showed back up last night to the bunk that he was sleeping on. I believe this to be a plunger to a needle. McDonald's bathroom. I'm not sure exactly what affects the Americana uh, busts or homeless driveouts have had. Those guys are sleeping right there. The younger people can respond by getting more creative and um, they can span out a little further when they hide stealth sleep. But the older people, so a lot of them are sticking around Americana, just sit there and get picked on by the cops. I'm starting to question um, when I see people outside. Like I saw quite a few people in the park this morning. Are they playing the Pokemon game or are they really homeless? It's kind of hard to tell. It might be a combination of both for some. Now I find it interesting on the Pokemon game, they don't name the streets. They could just, you could see the streets, but you can't get any of the names. Not like Google Maps. But you know, why why do it? You know, it's, it's for the game. It probably clutters the. They probably found name in the streets clutters the game, and you can always look at the intersections for the name of the street anyway. They're focused on more providing game content than navigation content, I suppose. Now I gotta admit, I'm seriously lacking motivation. Sleeping in the same spot every night has just killed my motivation. I would really prefer to sleep at my car one night and at the homeless shelter the next, just to get through this, try to keep my motivation up, but it's just it's so close to this court date. I don't know if, I, if enduring this is, is the answer or what. All right, I just walked through town in this, uh, this is pretty good heat. Heading to St. John's, there's a little house behind this parish office. I'm gonna ask him if they have anything that I can eat. Try to save on that money. Huh, maybe I should take a little look behind. I don't know, I don't know what that looks behind the house. And there's an alley behind it. So they got this parish, they got a church, they got a house. <laughs> they, they own the block. This 
Should be about this house. No trespassing. Maybe this one. Yeah, with the pallets. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the one with the pallets. So, they got a church house, they got an office. They got a lot. Yeah, I think the church takes up an entire block. And then I think I'll go to the legal library so I can use windows and yeah, food bank, one to three. Third house down, roughly. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's open. Wow, I got a lot of great choices that were low sugar at this uh, food bank today. They're diabetic friendly today. It's it's a it's a hit and miss. It's definitely a hit and miss. And I'm thinking there's I think there's a free meal. Yeah, a free meal at this church at six. I might skip my chore at 5:30 and risk getting kicked out to get that six o'clock meal because I'd rather eat at a church like that than, than at the homeless shelter. They, they love burning things. They love overcooking things at the homeless shelter. It seems like a lot of these laws that pass on the federal Supreme Court level have some element of drug activity involved, especially with the identification laws. It's like if drugs are involved, that's really gonna help the case. All right, so identifying people who uh, also have, you know, anybody, you know, could have drugs. So identify everybody, because at some point with your fishing schemes, you're gonna find the, the people with the drugs. But you gotta go through a lot of um, people who don't have drugs to get to them. All right, there's a sign that says Friendship Feast. Yeah, it's supposed to be at 6, but uh, it's, yeah, I got it like an hour and 20 minutes. Down in the basement. See what's up here. Well, there was definitely something wrong with that free meal. It was uh, chicken that was heavily salted. Very uh, large amounts of salt. I could just taste it. It, was like, it just tasted like salt more than chicken. Upward, upward bound students.
<clears throat> Upward Bound students uh, volunteered. They, now, I, they didn't do the cooking, though. They, they did the planning. All right, they planned it because it seemed like it was cooked by more, I don't know, not a place I would go to buy, I would go to eat. It was a fried chicken with just a heavy amount of salt. That's what you get for taking free food. They said last month that there was no food, and they were, they were apologizing today for last month not having anything. So that's interesting. I can feel my blood pressure spiking, and I really don't have a good response for it. I don't have my medical bag anymore. I had some good herbs in there, the hawthorn, and... Well, I do have cayenne, but in this heat, I don't like to eat cayenne. Uh, just other other uh, um, herbs that are supposed to balance blood pressure.